In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animated gradient text inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we're first just going to begin by creating the animated gradient background. So first of all, we're just going to go into our new item button in the bottom left of Premiere, or alternatively, you can just right click in the project bin and go for new item. Once you're in that new item option, regardless of which way you go, so you go for the button or you go for the right click and new item. Once you're in there, you just want to select black video and we can just press OK on this black video and then drag that onto video layer one. Then from there, I'm just going to extend this out to around 10 seconds. And then we'll go into the effects window and we're going to search for four color gradient. So if you just pop the number four into the search bar, that should come up with four color gradient under the generate folder in the effects panel. Then you just want to drop the four color gradient onto your black video. And as you can see, we've got this four color gradient now loaded up. So if we select the four color gradient effect, you can see you've got all of these different circles and you've got a specific color underneath each circle. So in order to do this animation, we want to move these circles over time and then we want to be changing the colors over time as well. So we're going to start with the colors. So we're going to go for color one and we're just going to lean in towards the reds. So let's go for a red. We'll press OK. Then we'll go to color two. We'll go to red and then we'll make this slightly different. So we'll go a bit darker and a bit more on the purple side. Then we'll go for maybe a lighter red, maybe leaning more into a pink for color three and then color four can be somewhere in the darker reds maybe so somewhere around here press ok and then as you can see if i increase the blend up to around two three hundred percent that really blends into this nice soft gradient but the problem is if we play this back nothing is happening and that's because these specific points they're not moving so we want to go ahead and move these points into different circles as you can see moving this around creates this nice animation so we're just going to go to the very beginning We'll go on to point one and we're just going to create a brand new keyframe on all of these options below. So point one, color one, point two, color two, point three, color three, point four, color four. Then we're just going to move roughly two, two and a half seconds over to the right. Then we're just going to move all of these specific points into different areas. So point one can move somewhere random. Point two can move somewhere random, point three can move somewhere random, and then point four can move somewhere completely random as well. And then at this moment in time, seeming as we've moved all of the position of all of these points, we can also change the color as well. So we'll go to color one and we'll change this towards the purples. So we'll just press OK on this. Color two can be a darker purple. Color three can be more of a pinky purple. And then color four can be a darker purple. So we'll lean that towards the blacks a bit more. Press OK. And when we play this back, you can see we've got this nice soft gradient animation now taking place. The problem is, though, we get to the two and a half second mark and just the animation stops. And that's because the animation is only taking place within these two keyframes. So I'm just going to highlight all of those keyframes. We'll copy that by going Command and C or Control and C. Then we'll go to the five second mark and we'll paste. So command and V or control and V. So select up here. And then we'll just keep repeating that process over and over again. So if you've got a even longer video, so let's say you've got a video which is a minute long, then you just want to keep copying all of these keyframes and moving over. I only really want a 10 second video though. So I'm not going to bother extending that out further than I need to. So let's play this back. And as you can see, we've got this really nice, subtle gradient animation taking place. The problem is though, we can see the point when the keyframes hit. It almost looks like they bounce back there. So I'm just going to select point one. We'll right click on one of those keyframes, temporal interpolation and select ease in. Then we'll go to point two. We'll do the same temporal interpolation ease in point three. Right click a keyframe, temporal interpolation, ease in, point four. Right click, temporal interpolation and ease in. Let's play that back. There you go, that's much softer. So now that we've created our gradient animated background, we can now move on and create our text layer. 
So in order to create our text there, we want to select the type tool. So you can select this option here, or you can press T on the keyboard. Then we'll select anywhere in our video and type out a word or a phrase of your choice. Then we'll go Command and A or Control and A if you're on Windows. Go to Effect Controls, Text, and then in text, we can change the font. We can change the size of this. We can center align this. We can add some tracking between the letters or we can decrease this. It's completely up to you. Then from here, you want to change the fill color to white. So just done all of this, we've got appearance fill. You want to change this to white. So avoid selecting a color here. We want to select white. And then from here, you just want to go down to transform position, center this up, move the position down into the middle. And now we can move on into putting this gradient background behind this text. So before we can do that, we just need to align this text up. So we're going to pull that back to the beginning, extend the duration out to 10 seconds. And then from there, we want to go into the effect panel and search for track matte key. So that should be under keying. So we've got the track matte key. You want to drop that onto the black video, so the gradient background. Then in the track matte key option, you've got composite using matte alpha. And then the matte should be the video on video layer two, which is our text. So we'll go video two. And there you go. The gradient background is now in our text. And there you go. That is how you create an animated gradient background inside of Premiere and place that background behind a text layer. So thank you ever so much for watching. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in the next video. See you there.